Good afternoon, Cruel Boys Monster Killer. This is going to be the first time that I'm really going to sit down and actually look at this war scroll. So let's have a look. Um, uh, so uh, we start with five movement, five up save, five bravery, and two wounds. That's pretty standard Cruel Boy stuff. Master of the Sudden Ambush and the Devious Ruse, the Cruel Boys Monster Killers are sadistic, underhanded beast hunters who eagerly employ every cunning trick in the book to capture their quarry and defeat those who stand in their way. Okay. <clears throat> um, each model in this unit, I, I've learned that you read the actual uh, profiles list. Each model in this unit is armed with a monster killer, killer's weapon. Okay. Uh, beast knob one in every eight models. Okay, so it's eight models one in every eight model in this unit must be a beast knob Add one to the attack characteristic of that models monster killers weapon that model can issue commands to their own unit Okay, so it's like you have a model that's like the champion it gets plus one to its attack characteristic pretty boilerplate Musician one in every one in every eight models in this unit must be a bala boy while this unit includes any bala boys Enemy monsters within three inches of this unit cannot retreat. Uh, okay. That seems pretty low impact. A monster that you're in combat with can't retreat. Um, okay. Sure. I don't think that's super impactful so far. <clears throat> Okay, so that might be the first model that you get rid of, right? One in every eight models in this unit must be a clutch grot That model is armed with a spiky shell instead of monster killer's weapon. Okay, so a spiky shell is worse than the monster than the monster killer's weapons. Okay, so sure, let's keep reading. Once per phase, when an enemy monster within six inches of this unit is picked to carry out a monstrous rampage, if this unit has any clutch grots, okay, you can say that the monster will try to gobble up the clutch grot. If you do so, roll a die. On a two up, the monster cannot carry out a monstrous rampage that phase. On a one, the clutch grot in this unit is slain. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So it's within six of the unit. So if you can imagine, so there's eight models, and I mean they have they have the, the they have to be within two inches or within one inch of two models, right? Because they're more than six. But you could imagine how much space. And then when you lose two models, you regain coherency in a straight line, which means you can set it up like two little triangles on both sides, right? So that every, everything in the middle is within one inch of the two on the side. And then at the end, you have the little triangles. So it means you have like two in the middle and then two, uh, three model triangles. And then when you lose two models, right, you don't really break uh, coherency. You go down to um, you go down to being coherent within s six. So they can they can actually spread out pretty well. They can cover a pretty good distance, like six inches around a spread out model uh, grouping like that because it's going to be um it's going to be like four models wide right is uh actually a pretty good amount of space and to deny monstrous actions like that's quite impactful roar is really strong stomp is really strong and then there's also monstrous actions that are part of books right so like for example seraphon has a bunch of faction specific monsters cool so it's like it's more than just the regular ones it, it shuts off um like book specific stuff so another good example would be mega boss on makrusha um if he can't stomp he doesn't get destructive bulk so it's you're turning off more than just uh stomp one in every eight models so i assume it's an eight model unit uh, so you have like one model and then on a one you lose the unit, but like that's okay Right, and that's flavorful like on a one the monster does gobble up the clutch of grot uh, So that's cool. I like that. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good ability. It doesn't say on this war scroll how many points This thing is I feel like I'm missing some information um, Okay, bait and trap at the start of the combat phase 
you can pick one enemy monster within six inches of this unit and roll a die. Add one to the roll if that monster has, has any wounds allocated to it. On a three up or on a two up if they have any wounds, the strike last effect applies to that monster until the end of that phase. That's cool. That's a pretty cool ability. Um, so what you're telling me is that everything within six, I can shut off their monstrous action. And then everything within six at the beginning of the combat phase on a three up or a two up. And I mean, like most, you know, like it's pretty easy to put one wound on something. But on a two up, they get strike last. So no monstrous action and strike last. I mean, Cruel Boy suddenly just like became monster counter meta just like that right it's like if you if you were to run this and you were to run uh killbos right like suddenly you have like so much ca counter counter monster stuff that's pr like it's pretty cool okay so it's 135 points uh 40 millimeter so i guess the champion probably this dude right here and then one 28.5 millimeter. What's that? And then six 32 millimeters. So it looks like it's, oh, okay. Here's like the Games Workshop page or whatever. Let's just have a look. Okay, so this is the 40 millimeter base. Pretty cool model, I guess. And then these baboons or whatever, and these other orcs, I guess, are, they're just generic. And then you have... This one must be the the musician, the Bala boy, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this was must be the clutcher grunt, right? So he's got like this egg. Okay, so it's like he's the target, right? So it's like he's the the monster is too busy trying to get this gut grot, and so he's not actually uh, trying to uh, attack the unit or whatever. I mean that's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. The, if these like baboons or whatever you can say that they have monster killer weapons right because that's what these guys have they have these monster killer weapons but i don't know about these guys i also hate it when they have musicians i mean it's pretty cool i don't like it when they have musicians that are uh, unarmed right right it's like they they need to have some form of like i guess that it's war cry right so in war cry they probably have different rules but in age of sigmar they just sort of simplify them but yeah like no orc in their right mind would ever carry a, a banner without a weapon right like that's just nonsense but that's that's all beside the point um okay so they're kind of they're not going to be battle line oh i, I just i should have checked that Ugh, i'm so dumb um they're not single can you reinforce this can you reinforce this unit I have a feeling that you can not like it'd be weird if they weren't single. Can you reinforce monster killers? They'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think. Because my like I don't see a rule here that says that you can't. Because they don't have like the single or unique keywords. They're not heroes. So, like, why couldn't you reinforce them? Would you bother reinforcing them? I mean, they have a lot of dice. Right? They have a lot of dice. So, I don't know. How much dice do they have? Let's have a look. I wonder if you can... Let's have a look here. Okay, so we're just going to... This is um, uh, AOS Stats Hammer. You should definitely go check them out. So, we have... Uh, eight models. No, it's not. It's going to be seven models. Three attacks each. Four up to hit. Three up to wound. One rend. One damage. Um, yeah, add one of the attack characteristic of one of them. Yep. And then mortal wounds on a six. One mortal wound. It's unmodified. It's not in addition. Confirm. We'll add another profile. And this is going to be the uh, the spiky. So it's one model, one attack, fours and fours, zero, one, add modifier, mortal wounds, to hit six, one mortal wound, confirm. Okay, so we're looking at like, like the damage is actually 
not bad. What does it look like with if it was just actually gut rippers? So it would be 10 models, two attacks, four, four, zero, one, champion. Yep. And then that's it. So more damage output than a unit of gut rippers? More damage output than a unit of gut rippers. They're obviously not battle line. More damage output than a unit of gut rippers. More damage output than a unit of gut rippers. What does that mean? They don't get the minus one to hit. But they do get shutting off monster stuff. They do get shutting off monster stuff. So are they a monster screen? Their damage is not going to be high enough to really like kill the monsters. Right? Because if I'm looking here, so it's going to be seven times three is 21 plus one is 22 plus one is 23. So they're throwing two more dice than a unit of gut rippers there's two fewer models they have the the two inch range they're one better to wound one better rend like this profile is actually quite a bit better than than a unit of gut rippers so what does that mean what does it mean that Stupid silly music keeps turning off. I'm not sure why. Actually, I know exactly why. So, I don't know. I mean, first impressions. Okay. First impressions. There's monsters in your meta. If there's monsters in your meta, here it is. They look like they're going to be very good at absorbing a charge from monsters. Right? Because, like, you want a monster to charge into this because you're going to shut off their monstrous action and then you're going to give them strike last. Right. Even on a 3-up, the, the strike last effect on a 3-up is still good. So is this just like a screen against monsters? The only real question here is, is there enough room in lists to place this? That's going to be my question because I find that Cruel Boy's lists are already pretty tight. And I'm also finding right now that having at least one enforced, reinforced unit of Gut Rippers is important. It's important. So I don't know if you're going to be able to find fit this in a list. Because what do you cut? Right, like what do you cut? Like let's like let's have a look. Okay, so we're destruction. We are cruel boys. I mean, that's even a question about 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 that or whatever. Grin and blade, uh, Gur, grand strategy, wa, cruel boys. So it's like you know, gobsprack, snatch a boss. Swamp Kala, Swamp Kala. Uh, gut Rippers, Gut Rippers, Hobgrots, Reinforced. Bolt Boys, Bolt Boys, Reinforced, Reinforced. What do we got? 160 points left? I feel like there's something missing. Right, so we got 160 points left. And the question then becomes like, what? Because I, again, I think that what I have here is pretty much a minimum. Swamp call, swamp call, snatch a boss. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, I mean, 160 points. So that leaves us with, what, 25 points left over? Yeah, let's just have another quick look at, like, 
my uh, cool boys lists. Oh, it's not there. Oh, did I delete them? I did. I did delete them. Uh, I did delete them. Uh, okay, never mind. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, do I think my first thoughts, do I think this is going to make it into every list? Is this like a must take? No. I don't think so. I think that if you are concerned about monsters, this is going to be a good a good thing to put between you and a monster. It's a very good unit to put between you and a monster. You want to beat a Gargit player? Run four of these. Right? You want to, you want to beat a Gargit player? Run these out on the map. Make it hard for your opponent to connect with them. But when they finally do, be within Unleash Hell range. Take away their monstrous action. Give them strike last. Right? You can pick one enemy monster within six. So yeah, if you have multiple units. I don't think you'd want to reinforce this, right? Because what you're really getting the value here is is the, the denying monstrous actions and strike last. So it's better to have like multiple units, I would think. Right. If, if that's what you wanted to do. But they deal more damage than gut rippers. Fascinating. Okay, so I think it'll be good in a monster meta. It'll be good in certain matchups. Do you take it? Yeah, so I think that's I think that's it pretty much. B tier. Right? B tier. Maybe A tier if the if like m meta monsters is a thing. If meta monsters is a thing, then this gets better. So, I don't know. Like, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, wah.